Celsius. Celsius, maybe 23. I got the damn chills, bro. Why not just save up and give $100 and get the tax receipt? Lazy. What would you do if money was no object? Money is no object, and I walk through Leicester Square on a Tuesday. Also, can I... I got uh, canvassed when I went into the grocery store about a month ago. It was a breast cancer charity. And I... I just reserve judgment for a second, okay? They said, would you like to donate some money for breast cancer research? I said, sure. They said, oh, thank you so much. How much do you want to donate? I said... $20? They said, oh, thank you. The minimum donation is actually $40. I don't know if the dude was running a hustle, but I was like, you can do that? You could be like, thanks for your generosity, but actually $20 is below the minimum donation. But I, I'll admit, he... I mean, he mogged me, basically. I had already agreed. There was like a foot in the door, right? I was like, oh, sure, no problem. Double? Yeah, double it and give it to the next guy. Like, I get that you got, uh, you know, like processing fees and overhead and stuff like that, but holy cow. You got scammed? That's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is that I was pressured into becoming a hero. Which I gladly took because... I had already gotten the inertia of saying I was going to do it, so there was a higher cognitive cost to backing out at that point. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Bro, this is awful. You've been on the same pillar for ages. Progress Andes, when uh, they look at the calendar and realize that the Earth is in the same place it was 365 days ago. Is that my daughter in there? Oh, grip strength. Hold, hold. I NEED ASSISTANCE! You see that TikTok? I love that TikTok. Oh, man. Nope. I've been seeing so many TikToks because of Twitter. It's actually so funny that this is the best that Twitter has been in years and literally all it is is like here's the best post from another platform like that's such a fall from grace <laughs> like, actually Twitter's been trending in the right direction now that it's just become reposted TikToks and people getting weirdly parasocial about how long a handshake is when uh, taking an Oscar statuette from somebody. Ooh. Hold. He's holding, he's holding, he's holding. Now. 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 Huge. Good cycle, please. This is a bad cycle. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. That was a bad cycle. We go again. <laughs> Calm. Sleepy time tea. 
Sleepy time tea. What am I doing? I was that was not caught. That was too calm. Why aren't this man's forearms huge? Uh, diet is as much a proportion of your gains as uh, progressive overload. This is what functional fitness looks like. Liver King. Try again. Try again. Huge. Huge. Yes. Horrible cycle. No, 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 no. That, we are greedy. There's no peace for me. <laughs> There's no peace coming. We're in the fucking grinder, bro. Yes. 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 Huge, huge. Okay, calm, calm, calm. We go again. Not, perhaps too calm. Perhaps it was, perhaps it was too calm. Perhaps it's too calm. Hold. Oh, thank you. Okay, take a breather. Take a breather. <laughs> Hustle. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, we go again. Absolutely beautiful. Yes! Cycle me. Good cycle. What have I done? What have I done? Hold. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. Why is this game so hard? Guy who trips over his feet three times a day on flat ground be like, why is this game hard? And now that's you. I know! That's why you can't be mad at me for saying it. Yes. What the fuck was I thinking? Old. <laughs> He's doing tricks on it. He's bouncing and moaning on it. Grip, bro! Get some leverage! Sex reference? What are you talking about? Bouncing and moaning on it? I thought we were talking about letting bro use my jet ski. Yes! Hold. Hold. Okay, I understand. I understand what you want from me. Holy cow. I mean, it's not really calm. But it's calmer. 
certainly calmer. Go. Chibli's launch technique is actually like so evergreen. You can use it wherever you wish. Uh, okay, careful. Might have to go straight up to this bad boy. I see it. Are we in Italy? Me when I go to the old spaghetti factory? I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Maybe you can only climb on the... On the windows? Maybe the windows are the part that is actually frictionful. The ledges and the windows. Hold. 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 <laughs> the ledges. The ledges. Ah! Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Right there. I mean, once we got chip tech, nothing's stopping us, man. I'm scared, though. I am scared. Perhaps we go down now? Or do we... We gotta go up. Come on, brother. Hold. Hold here. Hold here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you know what? This one looks closer. He's holding. Then... Grab the top. As top as it gets. Okay, I understand. It's like a orthogonal projection type deal. These are closer than they look. This is fucked though. <laughs> Shirt! Shirt! What if you hold... Oh, okay, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's orthogonal projections. This game is actually kind of insanely easy, once you learn chip technique. <laughs> hold. hold. Wait, can't you just climb up this? I'm gonna say no on that one. for it. We are climbing City Hall in historic downtown Kingston, Ontario. Any limestone city heads? You know what I'm talking about. Flawless. Grab the shirt, bro. Grab the shirt. Okay, okay, hold. <laughs> hold. 
Okay, I see the problem here. Let's calm it down. I see. Huge. Not on just being honest, it wasn't my most comfortable jump. Okay. Momentum. Okay, then we got to go low on the speedo. Not that low. <laughs> Come on. Huge. No glancing. None glancing. I'm in the pool, bro. I'm in the pool. Okay. I was in the pool. Me trying to explain why my penis is small, but actually it's just small. Thank you, Seinfeld. Thank you. You've given me plausible deniability. So true. <laughs> How would you know? You see that TikTok? That's like, I'm a savage. Penis size average. Shrinkage is real? Oh, you piece. Shrinkage definitely is real. Green ones are lies, maybe? Yep, okay. I was your masseuse. Does it make me a fucking point dexter that I always keep my underwear on during the massage? From what I understand, you can either uh, go full nude or you can keep your underwear on. So I said, why would I ever go full nude during a massage? I don't think it's weird to go nude during the massage. That's like, those are the two ways that they say you can do it. Don't trust it. Don't believe it's lies. Oh, I really thought we had it. Any massage therapists in chat? I have genuine questions. What percentage of your new patients... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inappropriately proposition you, even though you're a serious uh, craftsman or craftswoman. I'm going to assume it's low. I'm going to assume it's like 2%. But I, I, I guarantee it must happen, right? My colleague says it's happened to him five times over 10 years. That's not insignificant. I'm sure, yeah, you get banned for life, like as soon as you say it, right? You're like, bro, I got a lab coat on. Like, what are you? <laughs> you got the wrong kind of joint. My friend is a dentist and it's happened to him. People are crazy, man. That's why I always jerk off before I go to the dentist. Plus two, plus two, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, come on. Oh, it just gets you in the mood, right? When they get that metal hook out and they start digging around in your gums. And they're like, you're bleeding a lot. Are you flossing? And you're like, do I tell them a lie when this is their job? They obviously know that I'm not flossing. 
Or do I tell them the truth and they're going to be like disappointed in me? And then I'm like, no, no, I actually floss a lot. I just have anemia. Yeah, yeah, but I, like localized entirely in my mouth. I always say I try to when I can. I gotta see what percentage of Dennis actually floss. That was not even close. I'm sure it's higher than like a non-dentist. But I bet there's dentists who are like... Sorry, I'm fucking shivering. <laughs> I'm sure there's dentists who are like, you got a floss, and then they go home and they're like, just brushing it and going straight to bed. It's 100%, don't take your work home with you. So true. I'm just going to heat up my body a little bit. I'm going to blow my nose. Even normal doctors tend to floss? Well, yeah, because like, they've got so much free time. They're only working like 18-hour days. Okay, full stop. Most annoying part of going to the dentist. When the back of your mouth starts filling up with rinse solution and your own spit, but they tell you you're not supposed to swallow, and you're holding your mouth open, waiting for when they actually put like the suction in there. And then sometimes they take too long, and you're like about to swallow, and then they go, no, 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 don't swallow. Here you go. And then they put it in, but they like stick it to your soft palate, so it doesn't actually get any like throughput. Like there's no bandwidth, and it only sucks out like two molecules of water. And you're like, oh, now I gotta wait like another three minutes for them to do it again. Mine just leaves it in. Yo, new tech. It's fucked up because like I feel so cold that I'm like, I feel like I should be able to see my breath. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to get a damn blanket. It's good. It's going to be the coziest stream you've ever seen. <sighs> Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Freaking chilly, bro. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm chilling. It's just the chills and the nose. I hope. Are you coming down with something? Bro, I'm coming up with something. How do you feel about that shit? Mm. 
you know I'm such a fool for you. You've got me wrapped around your finger, dear. Did you have to let it shiver? Did you have to? Did you have to let it shiver? I don't know what it says that like when my brain is cooked, I'm so much better at this game. Maybe this is a game for idiots. Son of a gun. So true. What's the lower reason this guy climbs? Got nothing better to do, man. You know, what's the reason that anybody does anything at the end of the day? You're either getting paid for it or you, you derive some enjoyment out of it. There we go. There we go. Why do we peel bananas? This is a bait question. Just checking. What is life but just one big climb? Yo, I told you you would uh, agree with me about more things the, after you had a kid, D.L. Guiga. So true. Okay, ready? D.L. Guiga has been compromised. DL Guiga is no longer a mod on r slash dog free. Congrats to my man Phil on becoming a dad today. Yo, congrats, Phil, but honestly, like, congrats to your partner uh, more so, because honestly, I've been there. You didn't really do that much, probably. I know you're like, it's not easy. Of course it's not easy, you know. You still got to do like a, a lot of stuff relative to what you would do on like a normal Thursday. But like there's nothing compared to what the, the mother of the child went through. Little Guiga's turning two months old. That is crazy to think about. I'm trying to think two months old. The milestones at that age are like, they're so hard to remember. It's like the, their eyes get a certain bit of sunshine when they hear their name. They track you moving. Next stop, Call of Duty Esports. Apparently I'm less than two months old. I remember like, and I've, I've told this before, I remember being like, man, you know, those first like, basically the first year when they're either like non-syllabic, monosyllabic, or like just speaking nonsense, I was like, it's going to be crazy when she has the cognitive ability to like express her emotions in uh, English in a way that we understand. And it was for like six months, but honestly, now I'm kind of like, Take me back. Because <laughs> you'd think that maybe it would lead to less crying. And I guess it probably there is less crying because they can express themselves in other ways. But they, they go for the gut, man. They go for your heart. I don't like daddy. I only like daddy one day a week. Like, that's crazy. These toddlers are like testing their, their limits, man. They'll, she'll legit say to me something like, I don't love daddy. And you just got to like not take it seriously because two minutes later, she's like, Daddy, I love you so much. Come on, man. I get that shit too. It hurts. It does hurt because I'm like, why am I fucking putting myself through all this shit? <laughs> 
Oh, you don't love me? Okay, well then make your own peanut butter toast in the morning. Put your own orange and mango juice in a cup with a screw-on lid with a straw attached to it so that when you inevitably knock it over 20 times, it doesn't ruin our table. Don't worry, it just gets worse. Yeah. It's what you sign up for, though. I mean, it's... Uh, there's times when it's frustrating. There's times when it's... Uh, f exciting. But it's always fulfilling. What do you think? Does she lie yet? Yeah, all the time. She's very dishonest. Close, close. <laughs> hey, REM poster, what's the frequency? Kenneth something, something, some. I don't know any of the words. But I was bumping REM in the car yesterday as a result of our conversation. Thank you again, REM poster. You seem pretty patient. I mean, having a, having a toddler will do that, honestly. Because it's like, there's nothing you could do about it. I think it's a good lesson for life. It's like the more impatient you are, the longer something's going to take most of the time. It's a lesson I'm still learning, though. Try from the red? We'll give it a try. I'm a very impatient guy. Should I have a baby at 22? Only you can answer that. I would have described myself as an impatient person as well. Before I had a kid. Mind you, I was like, I don't know, 32 or something like that. But you can, you, you can only learn from like on-the-job training, bro. Red. You, we're going to go from red this time. My grandma had a baby at 18. You'll be fine. Yeah, but like, there wasn't anything else to do back then. Did you plan for a kid or did it just happen? It's kind of a presumptuous question, right? It's like, was this the sort of thing you had on your itinerary or did you just like start shooting live rounds and hoping for the best? <laughs> I see you. I see you. I've been asked this so many times. It's kind of a crazy question. I like you for asking it, though, because it gave me the opportunity to respond. Hey, NL, you wrap that shit up or no? I'm not afraid to touch on the mature subjects. I wrap that shit up. It's, it's easy. It's the least you could do. Please stop. You have a problem. It's the human body, bro. Vasectomy pill. I'm kind of, I'm holding off. I don't mean to be gross. I understand the benefit of a vasectomy. I just don't know if it's worth, and I'm not getting into the benefit for obvious reasons. I don't know if it's worth going through the process at this present moment. Like, I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze right now. Do you think we can make it from this? I know it's not a major surgery, but it's like, you know, before I have it done, I want to make sure that I'm like, I'm done, you know? Because I don't want a snip, snap, snip, snap type situation. I don't want to rush into it just like, bat chest, bat chest! 
it feels 12% better, bad chest. And then like, oh, fuck. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm holding my horses on that for now. There's a little ball vibrator you can get that kills most of your sperm. Maybe I'm getting too familiar here, but there's also like a little, you can just put like a coat on your dude. I don't want to fucking magic blender my shit. I don't know what's going on down there. That seems potentially dangerous. <laughs> I'll just stick with the, the tried, tested, and true, man. It's the hardest jump in the game. What's the candy corn thing you're wearing? It's a blanket because I'm inexplicably freezing. Even though it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Go on the lap? No, bro, my, my core is cold. I normally run at 72. So 76 and feeling cold is crazy. Bro, you're sick? I know, have you seen the progress I've made today? Did you eat recently? Yes, I consumed two Slurpees and eight Popsicles. Do you think that could be part of the problem? You look amazing. You know what's fucked up? People will always complain about someone saying like, you look sick. It's way more fucked up when you are sick and people say like, you're looking good today. You're like, really? My skin is like uh, gray and I'm dehydrated as shit and I feel like garbage. And they're like, wow, you look good, man. <laughs> well rested today? Yeah, re relatively. Relatively. Oh, baby. Brother? Yep. I guess it's a leap of faith. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I see. Oh! <laughs> hold, hold. Let go of the space bar. Getting too freaky with it. The captain's yoke, the helm. Thing is, I don't know if I can hold on to the ground. So we should, I guess we'll swim over to it. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine jumping to the slide from here. I know it would go crazy, right? Like it'd be one of the best slides of all time. Oops. Oops. Okay, we go again. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Still worse than a swing. Well, I, I got a bone to pick with you, D.L. Guiga, because I was at the playground yesterday. And I, I spent some time on the slide. I spent some time on the swing. And I, I trust your opinion applies to you, but... My opinion also applies to me. I was not getting much enjoyment out of the swing. I was like, what am I doing here? The slide, I was like, gravity's giving me some exhilaration. The swing, I was like, I move like, you know, a foot and a half forward, I move a foot and a half back. Big whoop.
Okay. Okay. This is the slide, bro. No, bro, no. There was a sign. The sign was pointing down here. It says death that way. I see a blue arrow, I follow it, okay? If Ubisoft taught me anything. I know what I must do. Hold. 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 Even the speedrunners struggle with the wheel. Well, get ready. You're about to see a one-of-a-kind performance. Holy! More? <laughs> More? I think we need to reset. Because we didn't get it in time. Oh, what, what do we care if we fall? We'll just grab the rock. That one's for future considerations. Okay. All around the world, we can make time. Rumping and I'm stumping, because I'm in my prime. Born in the north, and I've come to entertain ya. A something something in the state of Pennsylvania. Wake up the lake at the cake she's kissing me. As they do, when they do, in Sicily. And then we can't sing the rest. Kind of a good song, though. I'll admit Track one off of uh, Californication. Maybe one of the worst songs of all time. It's, brother, it's not even the worst song on the album. Track two was Other Side, wasn't it? I believe track two is Get On Top. Track three is Scar Tissue, and then track four is Other Side. Can I get a check on that one? Scar Tissue's earlier for sure. Earlier than track three? Come on. Oh, Parallel Universe track two. Deep inside of a parallel universe is getting hotter and harder to tell who came first, yo. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Five is get on top. Any second now. Any second now. One hand on each knob. I promise it to you. I trust you. I immediately let go. One hand on each knob. Oh. I really thought that might have done it for us. Me holding on to the chair when someone opens the emergency exit on the airplane, I can't, I'm joking. I mean, I, you're not wrong, what else are you gonna do? You know what was crazy about being in the US Virgin Islands? Or I guess it was the British Virgin Islands. They were telling us we were going on this tour and they're like, get ready, you're gonna go on an open air safari to your, to your beach destination. And I said, open air safari, that sounds fun. Lo and behold, an open air safari is actually just a truck with no walls and no doors and no seatbelts. 
So I'm sitting there like at the end of the truck with no door next to me, like with my kid on my lap holding on to the, my kid as tight as I can. And then with my other hand, like holding on to the seat in front of me. And then the thing's going like, and you're climbing like 500 feet into the air on this one lane road and then doing like a 90 degree turn. It was scary, man. It was like a tractor ride. That's what happened to me in Aruba. They're doing things a little differently down there. Then when we were in the U.S. Virgin Islands, they were like, this tour may contain an open-air safari truck or a charter bus. And I was like, please, God, charter bus. And I'm happy to report it was a charter bus. I was relaxing. I live in the U.S. Virgin Islands? That's crazy. Do you live on the island of St. Thomas? That's where I was. What's interesting is that most places you go, I feel like you can easily tell who is a tourist and who's a local. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, I was like, I have no idea at all. Like, dude in the pirate costume, like, did he, has he been living here for 20 years or did he just get off the, the cruise ship? I have no idea. I think he was local. Come on, bro. <laughs> How about this? Oh! I think I broke it. Hold. Hold. You know what? We should hold fully. Drop me. Let's do one hour of the dulls. And I'll go to the bathroom. Then we'll play Final Fantasy VII. That seems this is a good place to stop. We've been playing for like three hours. Slash marker. Climbing. Great progress. And I'll see you in like two minutes.